Did him do it. A symbol for our success. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Hi, and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Sven. I've got no idea what we're reviewing today, Sven. No, no. No, not a clue. Nothing to do with us. No, no. <laughs> um, I seem to think we might have, have done a video about this. I think we needed one. Well, would there be a thing about that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because it's been a long road getting from there to here. To here. Yeah. <laughs> that was hardly worth two decent seasons and two seasons of crap to get in that one joke. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Which two seasons are you referring to as the decent ones? One and four. Okay. They, right. they were all right seasons. Four was very good. Anyway, <coughs> before I alienate all of our fans, we have a space star. Has last da -da 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 -da. seen in Discovery. Been built. Well, tiny. <laughs> might have been the last place you saw it, but yeah, I watched all the films over films, November, so I saw it a few times. Woohoo! But at the end of the day, we all need a space dog. Yes. And here it is. Wow. <laughs> yeah, come, come on, did it. Come on, let's. <laughs> Do, do you want to do the magazine? magazine. Space Dog Special Issue. Uh, built in the 2250s. <laughs> uh, Question mark over there that's, now. That's um, type debate, space station. Location Earth orbit. Height over three miles because this is in fact Earth Space Dog. I can't get into the bleeding box. Uh, this is how to mount it on the stand. I can't get where they got that idea I from. Never, no. Dave. No. Hello, Dave. <laughs> um, Dave must Star actually be really, really thrilled. There are lots of star bases kicking about that he didn't have to print out. <laughs> yeah. um, operated by Starfleet, class space dock type. <sighs> Ernal. Ernal class. <coughs> um, 2250s Earth orbit, over three miles long. There she is. There she is. There she is. There she is. Nice CG rendering of said space dock and some very very early renderings we're using pens and stuff yeah. yeah it's not a rendering well yes um nc7011s or nc7011s is it one at one point um there we go go through the development of said space dock some of the more yeah there's the storyboarding there god that's awesome um <laughs> It is generally awesome to be there. Generally awesome. And there, there we get the, the, the study models, which were just stunning. And then you've got the inside of the space dock, um, as it was, shining through there, which is so cool. And that's actually the model used for filming. Um, I'm trying to remember, did they ever actually have that moving in and out on that spine yeah. of the Enterprise? Anyway, um, that's a nice reference shot of the inside. I might be stealing that. Um, in fact, then replicating it and having a bigger one underneath, but we won't go there quite yet. Um, this is quite nice, this shot of inside the uh, the model where they were doing the internal shots, that's quite cool. Sven. Hello. You're, you're quite, you know, popular on the boards, aren't you? And I do know I, space dot quite Anybody well. been complaining that there's been misaligned? Yes. <coughs> quite a lot, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the list. Okay. And here we have the shot that uh, a certain Tobias Richter used for his production. How do you screw the paint up? How do you screw the paint up? Oh dear, this is going to get picked apart, isn't it? No, I've, I've got a defective model. Space Fox, Space Fox, I've got, got a defective Fox. model. Oh look, it's the Enterprise D. Looking, yes, making that Space Dock twice the size of the original one. Hello, Space Dock. My, my, my Space Dock is deformed. Oh, it's, yeah. it's misaligned, for one. It's warped for two. Oh dear. And the paint. What the hell's this? Uh, You're gonna phone him. Hell yes, I'm gonna. Did mine get straight. dropped? I don't know, did it? There's look, metal in there. Look at the top module. Look yeah. at it here, now look at it there. Yeah. That, that's not good, Dave. I hope mine doesn't look like having a funny one. He needs another space dock. Oh, flippy. 
pity's sake. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's try and ignore the fact that you've got some Q quality I've got some issues. quality. Okay, so, we're, so in a review of the model, we're ignoring the quality issues, yeah? Quality control issues, okay. because we always do that. Uh, you, because yes, you always yeah. point out, this shouldn't be here, therefore I can't mark it on it. I want to mark it on it, Sven. I want to <laughs> mark it on it. It's already been marked for you. <coughs> oh. Okay, all right. You know what? I'm I'm putting I'm putting the David Bitchy side away. Yeah. Let Let's review the awesome model. So the magazine is awesome. Is very good. Yeah. There's very little in there I haven't seen before. To be fair, but it's nice to have that together. Yeah. Because almost everything that's yeah, in there in has been multiple, multiple things, sources. but never more than two of them at any one time. Yeah. Pretty much. The um, art of Star Trek getting a big thumbs up there. Yeah. Right, I feel. Did they do it in one of the line ones as well? Uh, one of the um, sorry, the line. You mean you know, ships, ships and line? I think I think I've seen. Oh, there's been several times in the space that I've turned yeah. up in the ship of the ships yeah. of the line calendar, but none of the there was no. the original stuff for the ship for the, for the calendar, the ships of the line calendar. Um, they got different colours going around on that sensor palettes. So you don't, if you, in case you don't know, sensor palettes are there. Uh, so there's three little blocks of purple, which should be more bluish. but should be know, blue, but... Yeah. There should actually be more of them, not, th not three, it should be five in each gap. But, minor point. Um, it's a very good point. Yeah, I thought so. It's a point that that level of detail could have handled. But look at that, that's taking. But it could have handled yeah. having the right amount yeah. of palettes. Um, you know what, for 25 quid though. Okay, yeah, all right, I'll admit I'm annoyed that mine's warped. That and the join paint line is annoying. The join line is bad. Um, the paint being uneven there is, is, I'm not quite sure how that's happened. I think yours is just a Are we just going to put that as a quality issue? Yeah, I think that's, that's okay. I don't think everybody else has got that issue. Um, a few people have had misalignments. Yeah, the, I'm surprised well, mine's... Because that is sizably out. Hmm. Hmm. But um, you know. All but other than that, all in all, it's very good. Considering this is something we may never have had. Yeah. Because it was the Starship's collection, not anything else. As we yeah. were told at one point. Yeah, but specials. Nine. But specials are specials. Well, even then, it was basically that the specials were just going to be the JJ yeah. ships and a couple of extras. Um, now we might even, if this sells well enough, we'll be getting regular one apparently. Um, I'd like I think this has sold well enough, I from what I understood. Would. What is your base number? 903. And you know that we they said that we have to we have to be a minimum of um, 5,000 of them. Mm. People out there have got 9,000 on their base. Really? Yeah, so they've actually done twice as many mm. as the minimum they thought they'd have to do. Um, I'm not sure about that base. Well, you're more of a treble man. Yeah. Um, no, I'm thinking a gap to bring it in rather than put it yeah. through might have been better. Um, we know somebody did a, a design like there, that. There, yeah. yes. Um, but you know what? Okay. I'll ignore the, the quality issues and just go for the essence. Yeah. That's an awesome thing to have. Some of the pylons are out. Hmm. But again, but again, but it is a glorious thing if yes, we wait so course. so long for it. Nitpicking aside, nitpicking quality, quality okay, <clears throat> yeah, nitpicking. No, I mean, I mean, nitpicking about the actual design and, and okay. things like the three instead of fives. And okay, you know, so like I, I feel we are perfectly justified in. in in yeah, that join that line. join line's not good. the join line's not good. Not entirely. Uh, I mean, there were a number of ways they could have got around. There yeah. were a number of ways they could have got around that. Maybe one module, two modules, three modules, so on and so forth. Yeah, that's metal for the sub mushroom. Um, that piece is metal. Mm, that plastic, is. plastic, plastic. Okay, that that piece there is metal. That's metal. 
Mm-hmm. No, just that piece. Just put there. Plus it. That's metal. Okay. So all the weight is there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I um, understand how you'd. Yeah. But I don't even see why they're bothered putting any metal, metal in it. To be honest. Did, did, did we need it? Place. Did we need it to have weight? Probably to, to hold, to it, on hold it on the stand. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't flap around in the wind, as it were. Okay. <sighs> we, we, <coughs> we're biased. If if we were actually doing this as you know an anywhere near decent review, rather than just going ha, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't paint the top of the pylons white. There's a bit of lights. They're off. <laughs> they're off. Okay. So to be serious, to be honest with you, it's silly things like um, the join marks. Annoying. Should that be blue? Because the model wasn't blue, but it was blue on camera. Blue and it's powered they're, up. They're, they're going for what it would look. They're like going for screen, feel. They? They're going yeah, for feel. feel. They're going for what you would expect it to be based on what you saw on camera, rather than trying to match the model, which is the general gist yeah. of things. With, with See, I held the prototype one. Yeah, it was pretty. This is a little different, yeah, but not vastly. No. Nine and a half. Nine. <laughs> no bias then. No, no bias. No bias at all. No bias. Nine okay. and a half. Ignoring the quality control, which now you will you know because you have told me off on many occasions. I have said on screen, I'm going to complain about this because this <laughs> should have pattern, and then I haven't. I forget. I will be messaging them over this one because no. If any, well, if anybody should get a perfect one, it's us. <laughs> yeah, we should get a perfect one. Uh, everybody. Should we should have had a free one, one actually. But yeah. now you're yeah. pushing it. Yeah. So uh, come on then, score this bad boy. Nine and a half, maybe nine and three quarters. I may be a tad biased. Speech bias there. The number of times I've typed out hashtag, we need a space dock, may have impacted on my mental health. <laughs> Shall we compare it with other models? Why not? It's a bit bigger. <laughs> it it is a little bigger. I think it's better than that. Mm. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> the this is machine, yeah. Awesome. Don't don't harsh my first. <laughs> Actually, I just wondered. You can harsh my second. Where's the second one? Oh dear. You can you can harsh that one as much as you like. Yeah, that's terrible. Ding, ding, ding. I guess to compare what's left of my space dock with yours, just for a colour basis. It is was, was, your, was yours uh, yeah, battle tagged? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yes, it is. Uh, that's all right. When you when you first pulled it over, I thought it was a coloured variation, which not. No, there was a colour variation. They did do a second. I knocked my end off. They did do one of these that was lighter. Oh, it was in an exclusive box set thing. Fair enough. And then you've got this thing from Star Trek Ascendancy. Yeah, Ascendancy. Which is wrong on so many levels. Four. It's it's a little tiny counterpiece. What yeah, did I you know. expect it to be? And you get it in a pack of three, was it? Yeah. Okay. Do, do you know how you um, straighten out the, the divots in the saucer section? Put it in lukewarm water. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that plastic is incredibly malleable. Do not, do not put a hairdryer on it to straighten it out, as some of my friends did. They turn into puddles. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Warm water. Warm water. Now, we have mentioned Dave a couple of times in this episode. What, Dave? Dave, yes. There's Dave, Dangerous Dak, um, who uh, basically set up the Eagle Moss Slash Hero Collector Star Trek fan group on Facebook. I think I've heard um, of that. It's a little tiny thing. Nobody group. pays any attention No to one that. joins that. Honest girl. No. No. Um, yeah, join that. Uh, links below. Um, now, when we started the We Need a Space Dot campaign, uh, Dave decided to see if he could work out how it would work on one of Eagle Moss's bases. He did um, a very good job. He did a very good job. To the point where not only did he print one and then showed it off, he then print one. He then took one to an event that Ben was at from Eagle Moss and went, ta-da! And Ben's response was, "Oh yes, it is possible then." It's not the version I heard. Hmm. It's the version I heard yeah. a couple of years ago. 
Um, so, nicely done, Dave. So um, Dave basically 3D printed it and put it on a stand that went with the Eagle Moss base. Um, and Dennis Mosselman was actually the person who suggested he did it yeah. for the show to take it to show Ben. So without those two guys, who admittedly were kind of inspired by the campaign, there's no way this would have happened. Um, I don't think. I don't think people at Eagle Moss would agree with that, but it's pretty obvious when you think about it. I'm not saying a word. Yes, quite. Now, you Dave, know what? This. See, you say all of that, but yeah. people at home, you know what? I'm with them. Until I would, until I'd see something Dave done to to like compare them, I wouldn't count that. That's that's barely any information at all. Oh, uh, I didn't know you were going to bring that. Oh look, hmm. funny that, eh? Funny that. Yeah. Let me design on that. Uh, hmm. Yes, this is uh, the model of Space Dot Birmingham, which is our club. Which is slightly different. It's slightly but different. It's, it's based on. It's the same a much thing. bigger version of Space Dot because yep. basically it's got two lots of docks. Mm. Essentially, it's got two levels, so. It's got where the Odyssey class and uh, Galaxy class and so on and so forth go through the doors. So that would be putting it in the same kind of size range as Starbase 74 from 1101001001. Go on, go on. It's funny to recognise. Yeah. And then you've got your upper doors, which are where your Constitution classes and Intrepid classes and things like that would go in. But it goes to prove a point. Yes, but this is based on Dave's original design. Yeah, he tweaked space it just for that you, would fit on yeah. um, an Eagle Moss base. Um, so yes, I think this may have inspired something a little bit. Yeah, is yeah. that not giveaway? Well, to be brutally fair to Eagle Moss, there are only so many ways you could yeah. do this, and they did pick the most awkward one. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I've got to worry it's going to drop off its stand, though. No. You can worry the stand might snap. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I've had a couple of this, a situation with this when it's been at an event and someone's gone <gasps> and tried to knock it off. But um, she wouldn't be able to do that. But yeah. um, it's far more delicate to put in and out, isn't it, than this is, to be fair. So, yes. But, uh, so it's I'm assuming awesome. that this one's on your list. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I'm getting that as soon as I can get my mitts on one. I have tried several W8 Smiths at this point. Um, I'm trying to avoid a postage charge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you still want a couple of extras, don't you? To yes. Do really yep. wonderful things with lights. I want to do one that lights up and one that uh, free floats. Yeah. So. And if I can combine the two, that would be great. Fair enough. Okay, well, when you order that, I'll give you 25 quid. Yeah, I'll you <laughs> right. get me one. Um, well, well, there we go. We got that. Yeah. Which is nice. And it took a while. It took a while. It took a while. But we've got Four that. years. It's been over four years since we did the, yeah. the Space Lot video. Um, and started the, um, the thing. <laughs> what didn't help is the fact that the, the petition organiser, the petition website, went down, got brought out, was brought back up again, and then went down again. And, and failed. So it's like, Actually, yeah. see, you say that, but I think what didn't help was everybody went, well, of course they'll make one. Yeah, I know. The amount of people that went, why are you doing this? They're going to make one. It's like, they're, there they're was not no planning plan. There was no They're, they're telling no us they're not to going to. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, the number of times they said, well, it's the spaceship, it's the, the, the Starship's collection, not space. You know, I really want to do is the Cartman collection. speech from, from season one of South Park. Follow your dreams. <laughs> it is totally possible. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, yeah. so, I would say those are our comments, but essentially all you've heard us do is, oh, 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 space uh, this may not be our smoothest review. No. But uh, okay. but it is the review stuff. we're airing, so enjoy. Yeah. If you have any comments, and I'm pretty sure you do, feel free to leave them in the I still need a space below. Uh, <laughs> you can subscribe to us here on YouTube. And you can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. And where I will now stop putting hashtag we need a space dock and everything. Promise. Promise. Yeah, yeah. We need a dry dock. <laughs> Dave's printed one of them. <laughs> That's right, that's right. I know he's working on that. Yeah. 
<coughs> and you should check out the Patreon page. Thank you for watching and good night. Good night. Okay. Uh, Actually, okay. can we redo really that in exit so we say we're thanking everybody for their support? Yeah. Um, no, because loads of people did okay. support it. Right, do you want to do that? Yeah. Do you want to? Okay, so, okay, three, two. Right, well, I think that about wraps it up. Do you want to do some shout outs? I think we basically need to say a big thank you to everybody who supported the campaign um, and basically brought it to Eagle Moss's attention. So that's Dave, Dennis, and everybody else. So many people who got on the, the, on board with Loads that. Loads of the Facebook, hashtag hashtags everywhere. And, yeah. All over Twitter, it was all over Facebook. We even had people complaining, why is it on Facebook? It doesn't work. Try yeah, but in all fairness, I'm blaming um, you for 90% of the, the yeah. Facebook ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He even got an Instagram. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so. Thank you. And we got there. Not exactly our movies wrap up, but. Yeah, we got our space dog. Good. We got it. You've got your space dog. I still need a space dog. I Stop saying space dog. <laughs> right. We'd love to read your comments, so please leave them in the comment section below. You can subscribe to us on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter, where I will now stop putting hashtag we need a space dog because now we need a dry dog. All right, oh. Dave? And check out our Patreon page. Thank you for watching and good night. Good night. Bacon and eggs for yours. Why is it one is always bigger than the other?
Please come back. No, <laughs> don't be that one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Good morning, Jeff. I think he's forgetting that. He sat down. Oh, yeah, he won't be on camera. In the snap, it's fine. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. <laughs> <laughs>